So, Dolly, you've got a bad back and you're a bit down. Ever thought of having children? You're getting to that age when... But that gives you a bad back and makes you a bit down, doesn't it? Yeah, fair enough, yes. <clears throat> well, you see, Dolly, bad backs can be caused by depression and vice versa, so I suggest you try a counsellor and an osteopath to see which is the chicken and which is the egg. But how will that help? We don't know which came first anyway, I mean... <clears throat> yes, yes, well, I, I'm a doctor and not an intellectual. Here's a few names. And how's your mother's vein? And Len's little posterior problem? Hmm? So, what brings you here, Dolly? Not happy. Not happy? Um... Why did you start by telling me about your family? Well, my mum's a bit irritating, but we get on all right. My dad's who gives me pocket money. Uh, my sister's all settled and smug. <clears throat> oh, uh, what's the matter, Dolly? Well, I mean, even though you're asleep, you keep looking at your watch. Well, I'm listening, Dolly. I close my eyes in order to concentrate. Don't get paranoid. Anyway, so there's my ex-boyfriend, Nobby, who lives upstairs. I mean, he comes places with me and he does stuff for me, but, I mean, I'm not in love with him and we don't sleep together. Oh, God forbid. He's a sort of standing boyfriend and... <laughs> so, tell me about this Noddy. Well, I just have. What are you looking at? Oh, I see, the clock. Well, Dolly, that's the end of your free ten-minute consultation. I suggest we have a full hour next week and decide where to go from there. Oh, blimey. Hi, Dolly. I'm Ken. Hello. OK, Dolly, if you just slip your things off, we'll have a look. What, everything? Uh, down here, Smalls, please. Uh, I haven't got a bra on. No worries. Let's have you standing here in front of me. Bend over, <laughs> to the side, <laughs> to the other side. Right, let's have you on the bench. <laughs> Dolly, just <laughs> relax your pelvis. Ooh. That's it. <laughs> now, I'm just going to feel here. Nothing personal. OK, <laughs> you'll just need a few sessions. What, only a few? He's gorgeous, and the way he touched me was so loving. I wonder if he's married. He's an osteopath. You can't go out with your osteopath. You fancy that Iranian dentist? Only till he did the root canal work. Anyway, I can go out with him when I finish my sessions. So, what brings you here, Dolly? Well, I told you last time. Well, remind me. Uh, not happy. Not happy. Well, I mean, everyone else seems happy. I, I walk down the road and all the women are prettier than me. And... Oh, for God's sake. Do you think if I walked down the street comparing myself to everyone, I'd be able to even get up in the morning? Oh, um, well, I mean, it's just that I'm not happy. Is that all? How happy do you think I am with two broken marriages, three kids and a job where I have to listen to people moaning and a droning all day? Oh, I love that. It cheers me up. What I can't stand is jolly people saying they haven't got any problems. <laughs> Why do you feel the need to make jokes of everything? Well, not everything, just funny things. Yes. Well, I'll tell you what your problem is. Or problems, and as I see it, there are a lot of them, I can tell you. You have delusions of humorousness, a father fixation, fear of men, inferiority complex, manic depression, neuroses too numerous to mention, fear of failure, fear of success, repressed anger, over-breathing, shallow breathing. Anyway, so you're going to need at least six months' therapy. But I've hardly told you anything. Oh, I'm a trained therapist. I can pick up on things very easily. Oh, and will I be happy at the end? Look, forget happy. You will have confronted your many fears and will be in touch with your many conflicting emotions. Oh, I don't know. I think I prefer happy. Oh, grow up, will you? Happy is for ignorant people who shove things under the carpet. Oh, that sounds good. Can't you teach me that? Well, Dolly, our time together is up. £30, please. What am I going to say to her? My problems just aren't interesting enough. I'm going to have to make some up. That's ridiculous. Just tell her what you're depressed about. I'm going to say I lie in bed all day. Can't eat. Shall I say my mum used to beat me up? You used to beat her up. I knew when I was doing my maths O-level. I'm going to say I would get panic attacks. My mother is beautiful and hostile and I never feel good enough. Got your silks on, Dolly? Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> that's lovely. Oh, that's just where it hurts. Your skin's just like a petal, Dolly. <laughs> a back problem like yours is like a puzzle. Ooh. You have to unravel it. I um, can. Do you do acupuncture as well? Yep. You're appearing with all those little needles. Now I've got great big six-inch ones. Oh, really? <laughs> Can't you just tell me what to do? No, Dolly, because change has to come from within you. Yes, but if you just tell me what to do and it's wrong, then I can blame you and it'll be worth the 30 quid. What does blame mean to you, Dolly? Well, you know, you make a mistake and then you think, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes I just blame someone else. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. 
Don't you ever make mistakes? <laughs> it would be inappropriate for me to answer that, Dolly. How come you never tell me anything? It's unfair. I mean, if you just said, oh, I know what you mean, or, oh, I know I had a boyfriend like that, it'd be much more helpful. That would be unprofessional, Dolly. I'm here to listen. Well, either you're asleep or you're asking me the same question, which I've already answered and you've forgotten, or you're being nasty. Why are you so needy, Dolly? What do these needy feelings remind you of? A little girl wanting love, feeling afraid, alone, isolated. <laughs> these needy feelings remind me of the last time I sat here, that's what. What does this hostility remind you of, Dolly? Oh, God, it doesn't remind me of anything. I'm just pissed off. Good, Dolly, that's good. What? It's good I feel pissed off. I've come here to feel more happy. Waste of bloody money. What does happy mean to you, Dolly? You know, laughing and jumping up and down. You don't have to laugh to be happy. Yeah, well, we don't get much of that here, do we? OK, Dolly, that's the end of the session. I think we've done lots of good work. Oh, I have, you mean. And I'm very glad you're confronting your anger, <sighs> even though you're rather childishly projecting it onto me. £30, please. Good grief, Dolly. What's that get up in aid of? Do you like it? It's great, Dolly, but, but I can't work on you in all that clobber. Strip down to brown knickers, please. OK. <laughs> oh, give us a snog. <laughs> We've got some students with us today, Dolly. I hope you don't mind. Uh, no, uh, uh, fine, I, I don't mind at all. So, gang, you remember what I was saying about the link between depression and back pain, often leading to loss of libido? <laughs> so that when the patient starts to heal, you often project feelings of sexual love onto their osteopath? Oh, God. If the students hadn't been there, I'm sure he would have snogged me. I doubt it. What do you mean? Well, it wouldn't be professional. Oh, you sound like my counsellor. Oh, which reminds me. Hello, Boop, it's Dolly. I can't come today because I'm ill. Yes, Dolly, mentally ill, heading for a nervous breakdown. No, ill with a cold. Isn't that rather a coincidence, Dolly? Ill on your therapy day. Look, I can't come. Oh, uh, cub. In fact, I can't come ever again. It's making me feel worse. You have to feel worse to feel better. Oh, shut up with your bloody psycho riddles, will you? My friends talk rubbish to me and I don't have to pay them. You're so full of anger, Dolly. Oh, so what? It's better than being full of shit. I can spend 30 quid on 10 pints of lager. Much more therapeutic. So just piss off, will you? I don't know why you expect to be happy. I know, I went mad. I prefer misery. It's, well, it's quite enjoyable, really, and there's so much more to talk about. Great. My session with Ken today. Hello, Dolly, it's Ruth. I'm having inappropriate feelings about you, and I sense that you are about me. Mm -hmm. I know you were feeling rejected by me, and now I feel rejected by you, and rejection is a huge aphrodisiac, Dolly. <gasps> I think we need another session to sort this out. <sighs> I know a nice little restaurant. Give me a call. Oh, no! Hello, Dolly, it's Ken. <gasps> I think in the light of your suggestion last session, it would be best if you didn't continue your treatment with me. Mm -hmm. I think a therapist would be more appropriate. Maybe it's because he can't resist me. He knows if we continue our session, something unprofessional will happen. Dolly, this is ridiculous. You must go away. But I love you! Why don't you bugger off, you pommy bitch? Oh, blimey. Dolly, Dolly, I'm codependent on you. Dolly, Dolly, I'm feeling inappropriately. I know it's unprofessional, but I really need a pal. If I won't charge you an extortionate fee. Oh, Christ, look, go away! I don't share your feelings of codependence. I don't even like you. So can you just go away? Oh, Dolly, you're so wild and fiery. Dolly, Dolly, I'll only charge you 30p. Look, go away. It's over. Dolly, I never would have thought. A woman. I suppose you're Gloria, the one that fills my poor Dolly with feelings of inadequacy and jealousy. What? Look, Gloria, just go home. Dolly, who's this? Oh, and you must be the dysfunctional parents. Abusive father, chilly mother. Pardon? Now, look here. Mum, Dad, just go home. I can handle this. Dolly, are you all right? I'll fix your light. Ah, Noddy, the ex-boyfriend. Jesus! Dolly's right, you are physically unattractive. What? And you can stop deluding yourself about resurrecting your relationship with Dolly. She's involved with me now, so push <laughs> off. Oh, for God's sake. <sighs> ah, it's the elder sister, the one who makes Dolly feel like a useless barren failure. I don't do I, Dolly. <laughs> and Alan, the ineffectual husband who made a pass at you before he married your sister. I did not. Alan! And the famous Mrs. Allwright, the paradigm oh, of a failed no. female life whom you fear becoming like. Ain't no famous, am I? 
Now, look here, whoever you are. You're a very rude woman. Now, just go away. You go away. It's your fault that Dolly can't form intimate relationships. Right, that is it. <laughs> Dolly, I can take you away from this dysfunctional family. Come with me. Don't you say my family's... Whatever you said. I think they're all functioning rather well, actually, Ruth. Bye. <laughs> Hello? Is that the police? There's a woman in a navy jumper and an Indian skirt creating a disturbance. Dolly, Dolly, I'm feeling inappropriately. It's all right, Dolly. They've all been arrested. They've gone. Look, Ruth, will you just go away? If you must know, I fancy my osteopath. But what about me? Oh, look, I'll come and see you one more time and it'll cost you. How much? 30 quid. Rip off. Forget it. 25? 20? 